Good morning, everybody. Happy July 9th. And um, we're going to hop right to it. So a couple of things um, just for the month of July and kind of this time period um, is that we're really cleansing and clearing ourselves on a physical level. And um, as you can hear in my voice, um, that is happening for me uh, right now as well, um, where I am clearing, I'm definitely clearing some stuff. So um, that's why my voice is a little hoarse. Um, so anyway, we're clearing stuff uh, right now at the beginning of uh, July. Um, later this week, we have an eclipse coming. We have a new moon coming, bringing in a lot of new energy. And, um, and this is, uh, you know, going to be raising all of our vibrations, which always, you know, it sounds like such a, a great idea and, um, and that it's going to be helpful, but sometimes, and I feel like this is one of those months that feels a little bit of, um, slogging through stuff as we're raising our vibration. So, um, the good news is that we will feel lighter by the end of the month. Um, certain things will really fall into place by the end of the month, uh, end of July, beginning of August, um, and we'll really feel like a big weight has been lifted off of us. So I am so looking forward to that, I must admit. Um, so it starts off a little bit slow with like, or it's been slow for me, um, kind of in a holding pattern. Um, and, uh, we can, it's like we can see our blessings, um, but they haven't come in yet. Uh, and so, um, you know, we, it's like we can't dive in quite yet. We need to do some more releasing um, and do some more waiting and really practice some patience. And, um, and that can be challenging. You know, we can feel that that we're being pushed, we can feel that we are um, hybrid. Yes, tension headaches the last three days. Exactly, um, exactly. So some of us will be feeling, will be having some symptoms um, for sure. Um, so this is a time to realize that you could feel frustrated or upset very easily. Um, frustrated that it's you know, like I see it, I feel it, but it's not here yet. Um, or why am I symptomatic? Or why am I feeling like crap? Why do I need extra rest? And um, I, I suggest or, um, you know, would recommend that you take some deep breaths. And actually, that's a part of um, our cards today to allow yourself to not get upset. Um, and and I, I think that's really critical right now is to take some steps back from your life and know that it's all coming. This is your confirmation of that. So the universe is not quite set up yet for all that is to come. Add more meditation, more yoga, more self-care. So whenever we feel that we're up against those jagged edges, that's what we do. We add more self-care. So um, you know, I have some extra healing sessions this week. I'm going to float this week. Um, I am getting adjusted. Um, yeah, so do all of those things that you know work for you. Get a massage, even, you know, do more yoga. Um, also get out of your environment. Maybe take a trip, even if it's just a day trip. Go do something different. Have a little adventure with yourself. Uh, be in nature. It's hugely, hugely helpful. There's probably nothing more helpful than that. Um, so it's that's like an active waiting. So instead of waiting, being annoyed, feeling stuck, this is more of an active waiting. And again, it's summer. Like, go outside. The weather in New Hampshire has been whole, amazing, like absolutely incredible. And so, so if you're feeling that way, go and do that. Um, you can just also practice living that life. Start to really um, envision what's coming and um, enjoy that in your dream state right before going to sleep or right uh, when you wake up in the morning. 
So our gemstone of the week is rose quartz. And um, rose quartz supports the heart in all ways. It, it also eases emotional um, stress, anxiety, and fear. So that's perfect for what I'm talking about for this week. It also brings unconditional love. So this is my beautiful um, rose quartz angel that a dear friend uh, gave to me that I have on my altar and I love and I've been hanging out with her all morning. So um, the next thing is our oil of the week is cassia. So cassia um, smells kind of like cinnamon. I say it smells like a fireball. I don't know if any of you used to be into fireballs. I was like, I'm crazy for cinnamon. So I love it. Um, this is a hot oil though. So remember to um, dilute it. You can use it on your solar plexus, which is kind of, you know, right above your belly button below your um, sternum. And, um, you know, this is going to bring some fire in and um, keep us all awake. Um, it brings wisdom, though, and, and it helps us to access our self-knowingness and, and wisdom in our life. It also brings some self-assurance and courage. But just be aware that it um, is a hot oil, so dilute it. You can also just smell it. You can use it in the um, diffuser. I also love the way it tastes, and it's a little bit sweet. Um, so I recommend doing that, having a little on your tongue. It's so delicious. It's less, there's a sweetness to it, unlike cinnamon. So anyway, enjoy it. Okay, uh, next is from our pair, Power Animal Oracle Cards, Raccoon is who we got this morning. And Raccoon is about uh, resourcefulness, ingenuity, um, being clever. And this is reminding us we have everything we need. Relax. Relax. I'm trying to relax. If I can relax, we all can relax, right? So relax into knowing that you have everything that you need. And as things are coming, and you can see them coming this month, but they're not coming quite yet. Remember that, oh yeah, I have everything. I don't have to keep looking outside of myself. I have it all. I have it all inside of me already. So that's um, Raccoon. Our next card of the week is from our moon deck. And this is um, the rhythm of my breath directs the rhythm of my life. And um, again, it's this reminder to when things are feeling uncomfortable to breathe. This is a quick, easy way to come to our sacred truth, to come back to ourselves in a big, big way. Um, and we have access to this any time of the day or night. So when you start to feel those jagged edges, possibly some frustration of things not moving quickly enough, um, breathe. Just come back to your breath. So, so easy to say, right? Um, okay, third card from our new deck that I'm freaking out loving, Work Your Light. I love, I love this woman, Rebecca Campbell. She has some books as well. And this is about birthing a new age. So she is, uh, this is awesome confirmation that these new creations that I'm talking about, this new way of being, this higher vibration <clears throat> that we're clearing for right now and waiting for right now, um, is reminding us that we really are creating a new world and it's coming into being. Um, we are in this transition period uh, between the ages. And I've talked about this before, you know, be between like the third and fourth and fifth dimension. And so as we are transitioning from the third into the fourth and fifth, you know, we're still in the third. <laughs> and um, these old cycles are falling away. And again, that's why some of us are symptomatic because we're moving this old energy out and we're making space and way for the new that is rising in us. So um, it's all coming, it's all happening. And this is some advice in terms of how to 
um, breathe into that, how to know that we're, you know, that it's, that we have everything that we need, but also know we are literally birthing a new age right now. Um, and so that's kind of a big deal. Okay. Fourth and final card of our day, Sacred Rebels. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm releasing for all of us. Um, spirals of manifestation. So sometimes when we feel the furthest away from what is coming, and you can see that there, sometimes when we feel the furthest away, it's actually right around the next little bend. So um, hold, hold that space and place and know, keep the faith, keep progressing, keep taking these steps that you feel drawn to take, keep listening to your intuition, keep going into your heart. Um, we all have been chosen for this path and this journey that we're on and all is perfect. It's all unfolding even when it's uncomfortable. Synchronicities are happening all around us and divine timing is always, always and constantly in play every step of the way. So have a gorgeous, awesome week. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to do the same. I think I'm going to take a nap, like possibly right now. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm holding you all in my heart, all of you. And um, I so look forward to connecting again in a week. Take good care. Namaste.